Hello everyone. Welcome. So nice to see you all here. Hello everyone. Welcome. So nice to see you all here. Can you hear me okay? I'm Monia Gaines, the artist behind Color My Dreams. Are you all having fun with this Booktober event? Hi Andrea. Hi Leslie. Hi Kat. Hi Belinda. So nice to see you here. Welcome. You must be very tired. Hi Heather. Welcome everyone. Sorry if I missed you, but welcome. Okay, today we are going to carry on with our old lady, the old hag. Hi, Rina. So, so we're going to do The fingers, the bottom half of the face, and see how far we go. Yes, I'm sure that you guys are sleep deprived. Okay, so yesterday we've done a lips. So now we're going to do the bottom section of the face and we're going to give her big paws. So let me just zoom in a bit. Oh, thank you so much, Amazon Tammy. Okay, so the upper half of the face, we've given her wrinkles, a little bit of redness around the eyes, and we've done the age spots. So on the previous stream, you can see how we've done that. So now we're going to carry on with the pores. Then the bottom part of the face is also darker because the light is coming uh, from the uh, half from the top so the top section of your face will be lighter than the bottom section so I'm going to start with a mid tone of hi Rosalind welcome I'm going to start with Sandbar Brown, PC1094. Oh, shame, Belinda, you guys must be really tired. So now I'm just um, doing the shadow areas of where the wrinkles fall because the bottom section of the face, you don't just have the wrinkles and how it falls. It's also to add the pores and how the, the movement that uh, the movement that you will get from the pores going in the right directions. So let's just darken 
the shadows quickly. That's brilliant, Jenny. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. She almost looks a bit like Mrs. Doubtfire. Hi Connie, welcome. Okay, so now we've done our basic shape of the wrinkles by just adding in some shadows. Now we need a little bit of a highlight before we add some pores. Let me just bring it in a little bit closer. Okay, so the highlight, I'm going to use beige PC997. So I don't want the light to be here where the um, fabric casts a shadow onto the face. So it will only be in this front section. A little bit on the chin. Hi Megan, welcome. The next color we'll use is light amber PC nine four one. Hello Paula, welcome. Next is Mineral Orange PC1033. So the orange I'm 
adding just to warm up certain sections of the face but you don't want to give her a glow so that's why you don't play with greens like you would normally do on normal skin tone because her skin is dull but you still need to give her some warmth onto the skin Next is Espresso PC1099. Morning Louise. Thank you Heather. Oh, that's great to see a lot of Aussies. Maybe we must do some early morning streams for the Aussies. Thank you, Louise. So now we've got the basic shadow and the wrinkles in. So now we're going to start with with giving her big paws. Because in, on age skin, you have your age spots, you have wrinkles, and you have big paws. So... But the pause is actually going in a certain direction. You can't just give her pause going 
in one direction. Each and every place on the face, the pores will go in a certain direction. Thank you, Kat. So, like on the upper lip, we've got the direction going to the tip of the nose and then from the other side also towards the tip of the nose. Now, here, the bottom section of the lip, it will also go follow the same direction. So, it will go like horizontally. But they will be closer together the, by the, um, where the lips come close to each other. <laughs> yes, pause. Now here, they will start arcing out. So on this section, they will turn and they will go more towards the chin. Now you must also remember to give a slight shadow here towards the bottom of the face. No, it's espresso, PC1099. Because you want it to be dark, but not in a grey way, um, a little bit more of a brownie tinge. Now, on this one here, you have to go to form the shape round it. So you have lots on this side and then a little bit wider.
thank you so much, I spy wisdom. <laughs> yes, she will look at you and give you an apple, Andrea. But we must first, she have to go for a manicure and definitely a facial. Now the next um, one is Beige Sienna PC1080. Now we just need to shade the chin so that it will become more like skin tone. Hi Rhea, welcome. So nice to see you here. So I'm giving an even layer of the beige sienna right over everything. So that softens our dark pores a little. We'll rework some of them again. But it just gives you a... Yes, Michelle, I don't think a facial will be of much help. It will only make her feel better so she won't stare at you like that. <laughs> Next is Nectar, PC1092. Next one is Burnt Ochre PC943. So now I'm using my warmer brownie tones so that we can lift the skin a bit. Thank you so much, Ria. Yes, that makes a big difference by just adding a little bit of warmth onto the skin.
it's Queen Grimilda. Grimilda. It's one of the pages that's on my Etsy shop. Uh, next is Black Grape PC 996. So now I'm darkening this section here with a bit of purple. Black grape double nine six. So the little bit of purple will just warm up some of the or co be complementary to some of the yellow tones that's in the face itself already. So it gives a darker shades in your shadows, but it still acts as a complementary color, so your lights will stand out more. The Queen Gramilda page is also available from my Etsy shop as part of a two page set with the Puppet Master. Yeah, they were drawn especially for this Booktober event. Yeah, and the patrons got her for free, or both badges for free. And one other one that's only for patrons, that's for the tutorials for this month. And that is uh, Queen Elvira. Oh, thank you so much, Kat. Oh, thank you so much, Megan. Okay, next we're going back with the badge scene, PC1080. So now we're blending some more. Not a lot. Just here and there, just to soften the purple that we've just added. Well, thank you, Kat. Thank you, Paula. And thank you, Andrea.
Thank you, Anne. Oh, awesome, May. Thank you for the support. And I'm glad you like the Puppet Master as well. Thank you, Rina. Next is Chocolate PC1082. Now we're just going to give a little bit more definition to the dents that the wrinkle makes in the face as she pulls her mouth. Yeah, it's good to try new things. It keeps it interesting. Next is Sepia PC948.
assume you must just go for it. I am sure you will do it justice. Don't you worry about a thing. The main thing is, is that you have to have fun. Try new things. Just do your own thing. An experiment. You can take the tutorials and try them on pages and just have some fun. Now I'm going to start bringing back the pores onto the skin. So I'm darkening the darker sections of the face by um, adding the texture of the pores. So now we've added the pores. Now I'm going to add some eggshell. PC 140. My septic is Now I'm just going to hold it flat, so I'm not pressing down like this, I'm holding it flat so that you get more of an even highlight. So here is a highlight. So basically what you do is I'm highlighting the pores and the background. So what happens is on your highlighted areas you'll see that your pores also go lighter.
Okay, next is mineral orange again, PC1033. I'm just warming up the chin again. Welcome, Ria. So so nice to see you here. Welcome. So next up, let me just see, I think we need a little bit of the reddish tints. So let's use chestnut, PC1081. Thank you, Kat. Okay, so now we want to add some more pores, but in a light color. So next I'm going to use grey green light, PC289. So now I'm also just pulling small little, you know, making small little lines like that. So to give the texture of the, some of the pores gives more like a flat wrinkle effect on the chin so it's not proper just the big balls that you see it gives like flat little wrinkly lines Hi, Samine. Welcome. You're just in time. We're almost ready to give her a manicure. Coloring down under, it is Strathmore toned grey paper. Okay, no problem, Shimane. <laughs>
Okay, so now we're going to start with the hand. Now, that is why we said the state of her fingernails is so bad she needs a manicure. But the, we need to, if you look at it carefully, she's got like this almost like um, tree branch, tree trunk type of nails. So we give have you have to shade it and also show the dirt under the nail, and then we give her a slight like sometimes when they have bumps in their nails. Then she's got split cuticles and wrink almost like wrinkle and age spots, and she looks like she needs some hydration on the skin as well. But we're going to give her those horrific hands just now. <laughs> yes, I've I've made it extra hard for you, Shimane. Yes, mixing too much poisons, Mum. Okay, so first we're going to start with some greys because she's got grey tones on her hands. With 90% French grey, PC1076. There we go, Angie. Have an apple, my pretty. <laughs> so first I'm doing the dirt under the nails with the grow. So here's the dirt that's under her nails. And then also here on the nail beds. She also needs some dark here. Yeah? Yes, and it's organic. <laughs> yes, Andrea, <laughs> the worms might just come out of her nails. <laughs> And it's broken nails, yeah.
Now I'm giving her thumb a shadow. Some wrinkly dry bits. No problem. Welcome, Shell. So nice to see you here. You must take a little break <laughs> as well. I'm busy with her unmanicured hands with dirt under her fingernails and I think she might have picked up this apple the, this apple she did not pick it from a tree <laughs> yes, I think it could be a 12-hour manicure. <laughs> you first have to soak these nails. I don't think you will be able to cut it, maybe with an angle grinder. Or maybe she has a spell for it and she can just say her spell and her nails will be done. Yes, I think we all need spells. We can just say the spell and your nails is done and say the spell and you're, you're dressed. Don't have to worry about a thing. I think that would be great. Next is Mineral Orange BC10. 
double three. Yeah, I agree, Anne. I think I would also pay good money for a spell. <laughs> Next up is Nectar, PC1092. Oh, thank you so much, Shell. That's so true, Anne. <laughs> I also think it would be dirt, yeah. Uh, next is Black Raspberry, PC1095. Now I'm wondering what's under her nails. Is it just sand? Okay, next we're going to use yellowed orange PC one double zero two. That's so true, Jenny. 
I had the same thing. Hello, Mandy. Welcome. So nice to see you here. <laughs> Thank you, Roslyn. Hi, Joanna. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Okay, the yellow orange is one double zero two. So now we're going to give her some yellow on her nails. So right on top, and a little bit here, Sharon, I normally just think, you know, when I look at the image, then I see it needs a little bit more yellow, it needs a little bit more red or pink or brown. Hi Leah, nice to see you here. Hi Connie. Hi Delise. Welcome. Okay, so now we we are adding some yellow to the serific nails. And at the moment it looks like she's been touching turmeric for her potions. But you need the warmth, otherwise it will just look dull. Oh, thank you, Shell. I love your work. Your glow on your image was so beautiful. Next, we're going to use Badge Sienna PC1080. So now I'm just giving an even layer over the skin. You're welcome, Shali, Shal Oti. I really like the colors you chose on that glow. It's really, really beautiful.
Good night, Loretta. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I have a good rest. No, the black manicure is, is not done yet. We'll, we're still, bu still busy. You haven't missed it. <laughs> I had the same problem. I normally stream at night and not in the mornings. I was also worried that I might sleep through to my alarm clock and not wake up for the streams. <laughs> Next is chocolate PC giving short little strokes similar to the face on this old hands skin so now we're adding a little bit of chocolate to the nails and the nail here have a slight shadow here in the middle so let's add it there we go. And a little bit of detail on the tips. And again, yeah, I've got it on the side, and then in the middle, nice brown nail. <laughs> yes, she does need a manicure.
Yes, can you imagine if she scratches you in an nail fight? Yikes. That will not be good at all. Next is Espresso PC1099. <laughs> she might just hypnotize you with her eyes, Jana, that you would take the apple from her. But I also think I won't take an apple from hands that looks like this. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Jana. I like detail. Uh, everything I see is detailed. And I think it's the being patient that little bit and giving it a lot of detail makes a huge difference. Oh, 
Hi there, Gina. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Okay, so now we I'm going to use cream PC914. Now I need to add, uh, okay, let's first do the nails. I need to sharpen it because I want some nice definition to the little, I don't know what you call them, those little lines that you have on there. Okay, so now we, I'm adding those little bit of cranks. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. And now this is with a hard pressure, so I'm pressing quite hard to get the lights on the um, skin. I'm turning it flat so that it can pick up, similar to what we've done with the with the wrinkles. Thank you, Mandy. Yes, it's definitely, I like doing all the details after the base layers are done. <laughs> Ach, thank you, Leslie. So it's furrows. Yes, so we're doing the furrows. I'm also learning today. So now I know it's furrows. It's good because I don't know all the English words for these things. Thank you so much, Leslie. Oh, wonderful. 
Jana. So glad we could change your mind. You would tinker quite a bit on this one because there's so many details that you can really enhance on a page like this, you know, with the old fingers and the weathered nails and the old skin. And you can do this uh, age spots more intensely. But it's, it's good. It's fun. It's something different from the nice flat skin tones You're welcome. So next is a uh, beige sienna PC one zero eight zero. I'm just giving a little bit more definition to this finger. And then light amber PC nine four one. Now we add some grey green light. Oh, thank you so much, Heather. Yeah, and straight after this stream, it is Color Felt Heather's um, one that will start. You guys must please join us all day. A grey green light PC two eight nine. So now by lightening some areas you'll see that the shadowy bits will come out more but now we need you know, those little white lines that appears with age. The little wrinkles. So now I'm adding it with the grey green light right across the finger. Where the light catches the the knuckle wrinkles and then the lighter wrinkle, then 
the highlights here on the nail. a little bit more wrinkles here yeah? Oh, thank you, Mandy. Now we need to add the little white wrinkles here again. And here on the knuckles. And on the throat nose. You can do it, Mandy. You can all do it. I think we just need some small details with black. Black PC935. Now we just wonder, her nail became too smooth. It's almost like she filed it. So I have to just make it a shadow and then I need it to crack a little bit so I'm keep putting back the cracks Yes, it's very fraught.
Yes, it just takes practice. And the more you do it, the more you will find your way and your way of coloring and your methods of doing things. And the main thing is, is just to have fun while doing it. You can use tutorials as guidelines by, you know, how to fix it and if it's too dark or too light or something like that. It's always fixable. Don't throw away any more pictures. Just fix it and carry on. And don't be so hard on yourselves. and have fun. That's the main thing. And I think we need a mid-turn. Some light amber, PC941. Yes, I do, Rosalind. I really enjoy it. And I enjoy teaching people and showing you how to fix things. I really enjoy drawing and coloring and all the art that I do. Oh, that's wonderful to know, Delise. Jonah, I'm sure you can fix them. I've done a tutorial with my patrons on how to change the faces colors if it's too yellow or too red or too brown, how to fix it. And the one that I did on the bouquet, I've showed people how to bring them back, how to push push some of the ones that's too light back. I just find, you know, there's always a way to work around things. No, you're welcome. I really enjoy teaching you, all of you. And thank you for coming to my streams and watching it. I really appreciate it. Uh, next is Eggshell, PC 140. Oh, see, I've, the one nail is too clean. We need to just put some brown on it. Uh, burnt ochre, PC943. Give it some of that mid browny tones there on the nail itself.
and then PC948 sepia. I'm just darkening the dirt under her fingernails. There we go. And that's it for today. We can do a giveaway, but this time you can choose anything, even a book from my Etsy shop. So let's play a, a number between one and a hundred. So you can go, go, go. Choose your numbers. And the one closest to the number wins. Not over or under or anything. The one closest to the number will win. So you, you can choose your numbers. Is all the numbers in? No, not yet. Well, thank you, Mandy. And thank you, Jonah. She's coming to haunt you. Thank you, Paula. Okay, and is all the numbers in? If you own all my images, and then you can work, then I will send you the next page I draw f for free. The winning number is twenty three. Okay, so the winning number is 23. Let her hold the fan. So, congratulations. I think it's Angie. So Angie, you can PM me or what uh, or um, email me, then I will send you your prize. And thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for this wonderful event that was organized by Shelley and uh, Belinda. 
Thank you, my mom, for being my mod. Thank you for each and everyone that supported all the streams and all the artists, because without you, we couldn't have done it. The next one is Colorfeld Heather. Please go and join her stream. And for those of you that normally do my public tutorials on a Wednesday, I will be finishing this page completely on every Wednesday. So I will carry on with the apple and the fabric and the background and all sorts till the end of October. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you so much for being here.